Friday in Tryon, North Carolina, and it's going to be another beautiful day today in the upper 50s, lower 60s, beautiful sunshine out there, and uh, not a cloud in the sky, just beautiful blue sky. It's going to be a very, very beautiful day. Psalm 119, a fantastic psalm. You know, I've been trying to remember. It seems as though when I was in high school, and maybe Sheila Ushery can tell me if this is true, we used to read a little bit of scripture in the homeroom opening assembly. I'm not sure that that's true, but I, I seem to remember that uh, the teacher would look for volunteers to read a little bit of scripture before we started our day in school. Uh, any case, Psalm 119, uh, a great series of verses to tell us how to live. Uh, it tells us uh, a wonderful way to train our children and our children's children. Its uh, author, of course, is unknown. It has a Hebrew alphabet acrostic in it. Uh, all of those things are interesting, and of course, uh, the Psalms were meant to be sung. But nevertheless, it's uh, a wonderful set of verses, and uh, it starts out by saying uh, that we can be blessed, and all of us want to be blessed. Uh, but let me just give you an outline for Psalm 119, verses 1 through 8, because I think they're very, very incredible uh, verses. The happy man, the holy man, and the humble man. That's, that's a pretty good outline for a life, isn't it? Happy man, holy man, humble man. It says, blessed is the one that's blameless and walks in the law. Now, we're not talking about living to get into heaven based on the law, but we're talking about the fact that a man is happy when he is living a blameless life, when he's following the commandments of God. And that's true. A man is happy when he follows the commandments of God. And it says, blessed is he that's uh, lives according to the testimonies of the Lord and seeks him with all of their hearts. Somebody that seeks the Lord with all of their hearts is blessed. Someone who is uh, not doing unrighteousness and keeps God's commandments blamelessly, diligently. In verse 5, it has a good beginning. It says, Oh, that my ways may be established to keep thy statutes, to keep the law, that my way may be established. And verse 6, it goes on and says, and not to be ashamed and to be giving thanks, to learn righteousness and judgments and to keep thy statutes. Uh, do you notice the entire section of how to be happy, how to be holy and how to be humble? is based on following God's word. Maybe that teacher that had us read a few verses from scripture really had a good intention for our lives. Uh, maybe when we continue to read scripture and try to follow God's commandments, uh, gives us happy lives, blessed lives. I couldn't help but to contrast Christianity uh, with other faiths as I was preparing this particular message. The Bible encourages us to live harmoniously, happy, and not hurt one another. Uh, but rather it's a peaceful religion. One which does not try to force its religion on others, but one that just says, here I am, you make your choice. That's a good religion. A good religion that says, you don't have to be like this. That's your choice. But if you are like this, you'll be happy, you'll be holy, and you'll be humble. Uh, what a contrast with other religions that want to force their way on you. Or that say that you're not as good as they are and you don't look down your spiritual noses at them. Now, how do you do it? 
how do you live that happy, holy, and humble life? Well, it tells us that in verses 9 through 15. You may want to go back and study it carefully for yourself. But you do it through his word, by seeking him, by constantly praying to him, that's petition, and to treasure his word in your heart. And to ask him to continue to teach you, verse 12, to rejoice in him as much as you would rejoice in riches. Now, let me say that again. He says that we can find that if we will continue in his word, that we will rejoice as much in that as we would in riches. Boy, that's so contrary to the message of this world today, isn't it? And to meditate on his law, to meditate on it, to think about it, to let it consume your mind, your thoughts, and your heart. Regard, delight, and remember his word. That's the message from Psalm 119. Really worthwhile for you to go back and read the entire psalm. As a matter of fact, I think I'll just post it here at the end of this video so that you can read it without having to go to get your Bible. It's your thought for the day. And I think I'm right when I say that we did read a little bit of scripture every day in homeroom at Palm Beach High School so many years ago. Not a bad way to start the day. God bless you and have a great day.